So we are going to find the equation of the parabola when they give you vertex and the equation for directrix. So in this problem, they give you the vertex which is at uh, 1 and 2. So I just drew it using a graphing calculator, but here it's not like uh, write the equation of the parabola from the graph, it just write the equation of parabola from these given points. So I just drew it, so we got a vertex at 1 and 2 so that's the point that's where our vertex is so this is this is the point 1 comma 2 our vertex and the directrix is x plus y plus 1 is equal to 0 and the focus is unknown okay so we don't know where the focus is so to write the equation of a parabola as I did in my previous video uh, I find the focus was given so what we did we found a point on the parabola and we joined that point to the focus and we know the distance of the point on a parabola from the focus is equal to its distance from the directrix and we set up an equation there and wrote the equation for the parabola but in this problem focus is unknown so my first goal is to find the focus okay and to find the focus you see there are two lines and you know these two lines are perpendicular to each other and this is our directrix and this is our axis of the parabola which is passing through 1 comma 2 which is our vertex and you see we got two equations oh, sorry we got only one equation and we need to find the equation for this perpendicular line which is very easy so let's do that so find the equation of this line find this point when we find this point give and that that will help us to find the focus and once we find the focus we can write the equation of parabola so let's do it step by step so first of all let's find the equation of this perpendicular line this yellow line the given line is <coughs> x plus y plus 1 is equal to 0 and I can write it in slope intercept format that will give me y is equal to minus x minus 1 so that tells me the slope of this line m is equal to minus 1 just comparing it with the y is equal to mx plus v remember so m is negative 1 and now as this pink line is uh, perpendicular to the yellow line and we can write the slope of the yellow line so for example and when two lines are perpendicular the slope of one line is given and I'm gonna say this is m2 and the slope of the other line is a negative reciprocal of the other one which is going to be basically uh, 1 okay so we got the slope for yellow line which is m so let's write the equation for yellow line so that will be y is equal to mx plus b so m is 1 so y is equal to x plus b so now we need to find b so our y intercept when x is 0 or we can plug in any point on this line okay so as this line is passing through the vertex so 1 comma 2 we can use those points so x is 1 and y is 2 so y is 2 and x is 1 here plus b and when we solve it this gives me b is equal to 1 and it's gonna plug in that back over here okay so that tells me the equation of uh, the yellow line is y is equal to x plus 1 or can be written as x minus y plus 1 is equal to 0 so I subtracted y on both hand side okay so this is my equation number 1 which is our directrix and this is my equation number 2 which is this axis that is passing through uh, vertex and the focus so now we got two equations and the solution of those equations can give us this intersection point you know wherever two lines cross each other that's their solution or we can solve them you know we can solve them uh, algebraically to find the x and y value for this point okay so if I add equation number one to equation number two so let me I already wrote two so equation number one is x plus y plus 1 is equal to 0 if we add both of the equation this y will get cancelled out and we're left with 2x plus 2 
equal to 0 and if I subtract 2 from both hand side that gives me 2x is equal to minus 2 therefore and divide by 2 therefore so this implies to x is equal to minus 1 okay and we can plug in this x is equal to minus 1 in either of the equation number 1 or 2 to find the y so let's do it in this one so x is minus 1 so I plug in x minus 1 over here minus 1 plus y plus 1 is equal to 0 and these two will cancel each other out so we got y is equal to 0 so we got the coordinate of this point which is negative 1 comma 0 okay and this point will help us to find the focus remember focus is as far from the vertex as it is from uh, as the vertex is from the directrix you know if focus is somewhere here so this distance is equal to that distance okay so how we can do that let, let, let's say the coordinates or the coordinates for our focus is focus is somewhere here but we don't know what what are the coordinates okay let's say it is x1 comma y1 so this is my focus okay so let's find the focus now make some space over here let's get rid of that all right so let's find the focus now so this point is write it down over here too negative 1 comma 0 okay and we know vertex is right in the middle of these two points okay so if i add this plus this and divide it by two that will be equal to my vertex because vertex is right in the middle of focus and the directrix okay so let's do that so vertex is one comma two v and my focus is i said x1 y1 all right so let's do some math over here so that means x1 plus this point so x1 plus this x value which is a negative 1 and divide by 2 will be equal to this x value so is equal to 1 all right so if we solve it that tells me uh, multiply by 2 on both side Okay, so this two will cancel this one out and we're left with x1 minus 1 is equal to 2 and add 1 on both hand side cancel out this one so x1 is equal to 3 so I got the x coordinate of my focus okay and now same thing with y value again this plus this divided by 2 is equal to this 2 so 0 or y1 plus 0 divided by 2 is equal to 2 multiply by 2 on both hand side this gives me uh, this cancel out this so y1 is equal to 2 times 2 is 4 so I got the coordinates of my focus my focus is at 3 comma 4 so this is my focus three comma four all right so now we can find now we can find uh, the equation of parabola using the property of the parabola okay so according to bit according to the property the distance of the point let's say there is this point on uh, parabola so distance of the point from the focus this is my focus is equal to its distance from the directrix and again perpendicular distance this is always perpendicular so these two distance are same and that's what we are going to find now okay so this is basically let's say this is point p x comma y so we can use the equation uh, 
uh, distance formula px comma y and f of 3 4 which is going to give me uh, x minus 3 square plus y minus 4 square square root equal to this distance okay so formula for this distance is basically length of the perpendicular from a point to a line okay and remember I wrote the formula last time in my last video you can watch that and I'm gonna write the answer over here which is, let me write it down over here too again okay so we got a point and perpendicular to this line and let's say this point is x1 y1 and this line is ax1 plus by1 plus c so this distance is equal to ax1 plus by1 plus c over square root of square of the coefficients of x and y so here it's a square and here it's b square and the modulus because it's a distance always going to be positive okay and in this case we got x plus y plus 1 so this is the equation of this line and this is my perpendicular and this is my point all right so that gives me x plus y plus 1 over square root of coefficient of x 1 square coefficient of y again 1 y oh, sorry 1 square so now we're going to solve this equation which gives me <coughs> so square root of x minus 3 square plus y minus 4 square is equal to x plus y plus 1 over square root of 2 and now square left and right hand side so this gives me x minus 3 square plus y minus 4 square is equal to x plus y plus 1 square over 2 okay so if we multiply by 2 on both hand side 2 here and 2 there so this will cancel this 2 out okay so what will be next step here so we got let me rewrite that so we got 2 into x minus 3 square plus y minus 4 square is equal to x plus y plus 1 whole square here okay now solve this equation so we got 2 into x square minus 6x plus 9 plus y square minus 8y plus 16 is equal to x square plus y square plus 1 square plus 2xy plus 2y into 1 which is 2y plus 2x into 1 which is 2x and when we simplify this this gives me x square plus y square minus 2xy minus 14x minus 18y plus 49 equal to 0. So this is the required equation for this parabola when a vertex is at 1 comma 2 and the directrix is x plus y plus one all right that's how you can find the equation of the parabola when they give you vertex and directrix okay guys please solve a couple of more problem that way you guys will be good to go thanks for watching the video and please 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 share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe so that you won't you won't miss any other video thank you have a good day bye bye